mechanical doping, the story that keeps on giving. Wow. Um, this is getting weirder and weirder and weirder for uh, the protagonist, Fomke van der Dreschke, Belgian cyclocross racer. And, and just when you think that things could not get more bizarre, the Belgians have up the ante. Apparently, her father and brother and an accomplice um, were involved in the theft or maybe bird napping of a parakeet about a year ago uh, in a nearby town in Belgium. <laughs> uh, her brother also serving a doping suspension and uh, and Fomke has been a little bit more forthcoming with some of the details, some of the denials, some of the blaming uh, and the owner of the bike containing the motor has been identified as Nico Van Mulder. And uh, Famke saying that Nico Van Mulder rides and trains along with her and her brother and uh, has been out on some of the training rides with them in the recent past. Uh, he actually said, Nico Van Mulder said that it was his bike. Any more than that, he could not say, but he said that it was his bike. Um, Famke said that, uh, um, I sold it to him, Fanke says she sold it to Nico Van Mulder uh, last year, uh, a year ago. That's why it was at the race. That's why it was near the team van. And that's why the mechanics uh, mistook it for her own race bike. And that's why it was either in the van or in the pits or underneath her while she was racing. <laughs> Those details have not yet been uh, confirmed, which... Uh, uh, we'll go a long way in trying to figure this mess out. In general, it's the team that retains ownership of the team bicycles, and it's either returned to the factory where it came from, in this case, Villiers Triestina, or is kept in the possession of the team for further resale or uh, for next year's bike or for other riders they might want to sponsor. It's not entirely impossible that uh, Famke did not have a special sponsorship agreement whereby she keeps possession of her race bikes and training bikes at the end of the year. Uh, but that uh, is not forthcoming in her quote so far. And um, I can't wait to hear the next twist on this strange story getting stranger by the minute. So stay tuned. Please comment and please subscribe.